I'll be very honest, I consider the Middle East problem is a chronic problem, it's never go away. You mean before October 7, you were sitting there in LA thinking, you know what, the last thing I want to give my that, mind to yes. is thinking about the Israel-Palestine yes. problem. Yes, it's a chronic would, problem that nobody wants. You get there, it's quicksand, you get sucked in. Mm. How can you talk about anything that all of these regimes, all of these countries have failed? This is like a hornet nest. I still didn't want to get, get in. But then I, when I saw the pro-Israeli people talking on the media, my blood was boiling because it's like, this is plain lies. This is plain lies. And it triggered something in me. I left Egypt because I was not able to say what's on my mind. Mm. And I came here for the, the land of the free, the home of the brave, where you can say anything you want. And then suddenly, when you speak about certain things, you get accused of all things right, left, and center. If I'm criticizing Israel, why is this anti-Semitic? It's like when you criticize Saudi Arabia or Iran or Egypt, nobody calls you an Islamophobe, right? But it's all only Israel. You feel all of this like victimization, all of this like guilt tripping. Israel is a government, is a country. And I don't know why as an American I can say whatever I want about Trump or Biden. And then I come to Israel and all of these like booby traps that you cannot go into. It is unfair and it's against the freedom of expression. And that is against the promise that America and the West give the people to tell them to come to us.